everyone, I am Clara. I am a graduating student at the Alfredo M. Balayo High School. At the same time, I am an athlete playing for the Philippine track and field team. My life as a student athlete is not easy because I am always busy. I really need to manage my time properly. Stress here, stress there, stress everywhere. Hi. Despite all of those things, I am able to survive. You want to see how I did it all? Here is my story. There was a time wherein there were so many tasks given to me, both as a student and as an athlete. Good morning, class. I will discuss with you our project for the final period. We are going to make a research paper on your chosen topic. The deadline is on November 17, 2014. With an off team, our competition against Team Iraq will be on November 20, 2014. We are going to have vigorous training. Oh no! The deadline of my research paper and my competition were in the same week. How will I manage my time between my research paper and my trainings? So I decided to start early on my research paper. Before going to my training, I visit the library first. Hi Clara! Good thing I saw you here. I actually have a problem. Hi Kay! What's the matter? I cannot reach the book I need for my research. Can you get it for me? That book? Okay. Thank you so much, Clara. If only I am just as tall as you are. You'll be this tall soon, Kay. Or maybe even taller. Maybe your growth hormones have not taken full effect yet. I sound too technical, but these hormones promote development and enlargement of your body. Is that for real? Yes, it is. And besides, we women still have the chance to grow up and tone our bodies because we have not reached the age of 18 yet. Wow, thanks Clara. That gave me a relief. I thought that I would only be this small. Oh, that's nothing. Okay, I need to go. I still have my training. Thanks for the time. Bye and see you tomorrow. Okay, bye. Thank you. See you. As an athlete, it is important to be focused on your goal. And that is the finish line. As soon as I get into my training, I am transforming into a lean, mean, fighting and running machine. I always give my best every training, thinking that every training day is already championship day. But sometimes, training so hard could not be good for one's body, especially if he or she is also mentally exhausted. Hi mom, I'm home already. Oh hi, how was school? How was training? Both exhausting mom. Do you have salon pass there? My back and my legs hurt. I don't have any, but it's okay. We do not need those painkillers because our body has natural painkillers in it. But how does that work, mom? Our body produces hormones called endorphins, which are its natural painkillers. We do not need to worry. It eventually is the pain you feel right now. You just need to sit there, relax, and meditate for a while. Or maybe eat some spicy food. Okay, mom. I guess I'll be just taking a nap. I'll wake up before dinner. Oh no! It's 4 a.m. already! Clara, it's early in the morning. Why are you so agitated? I still haven't done anything and there are so many tasks to do. Where should I start first? Slow down, Clara. You're having some adrenaline rush again. It's making things worse. Adrenaline rush? Yes, that's the sudden burst of energy caused by too much stress. It's like this. Our body also have adrenal glands that enables it to respond to stress. That's where it got its name. When your body produces too much adrenaline, meaning having too much hormones responding to stress, you're having an adrenaline rush. See the connection? Mm, got it. Thanks, Mom. I will start working on my task now. So I did my list task immediately in just an hour. Days passed and I was able to pass my research paper. Our team also won the competition. I am so happy. Time management is not just the key, but also taking care of our bodies because we have hormones that makes us feel okay though we do not physically see it. It makes us live even better. And that is my story. What is yours? Created using Powtoon.